All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. No matter what, happy holidays. Uh, we're back to the Snap on Tri County Tool Show, and uh, it's time for a year in recap and what to look forward to in the future. And of course, before we start and you start saying ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. I wanted to thank everyone for their continued patronage this year. Uh, all your business has kept me around for another year. I hope to say the same next year. We'll see. There's some pretty big things in the uh, in the hopper for what's going to be going on. So hopefully you guys keep me around for another year, and uh, and we'll we'll see if we're doing the same review next year with some different tools. But uh, like I said, without further ado, we're going to get into it without getting too sappy, at least yet. We'll see how it goes by the end of the video. we got a lot to talk about. And first of all, I have a whole list on my computer of my most sold items of the year. Uh, they are over $100. That's the, basically the metric that Snap-on goes by, which kind of makes sense because some guys buy uh, 5 to 10 of those razor scrapers a year on their own. So it wouldn't be fair to say I sell 100 scrapers, so that's going to be the, the, the most opportune product. It might be just that they were the best deal, but what I like to say is it's it's because it's the best product out there. That's why that I've sold so many of them. So first on the list, we're going to get right into it. Uh, it's the 1206GS. This is our general service. This one's a little bit uh, bounced around a little bit. If you know anything about the uh, the rural Nova Scotian roads, uh, this is what most of our socket sets look like on the truck because they have been beat and battered and bruised around on the, uh, on the truck from being launched into the air by all of our lovely potholes. Big thing is about this kit, there is no such thing, at least to my uh, my knowledge, of course, you can correct me down below in the comments below, there's no such thing as an impact rated reducer. And the reason for that is obviously, if you're going from half inch to three eighths, the amount of torque you can put on a half inch is due to the, the surface area of that actual anvil. And with three eighths, obviously it's gonna be less, so you can't have an impact rated uh, adapter. But the nice thing is what we have done with these is we have made them replaceable. So we can pop that little end out, pop a new one in. So especially if you're a field tech and you don't wanna wait for the new one, for your snap-on guy to come around, you can actually buy separate ones of these. They're a lot more cost effective pop the old one out, pop the new one in. When it inevitably breaks, obviously, uh, they will break every once in a while. You just replace it on the go. So this was, uh, I'd say, number two in the uh, in the most sold item. And I'll get to the reason why. We'll say this is number two out of five that we're going to be talking about today. For the third one, I will say I don't have any left on the truck. That's just how good they have sold. I'm actually going to flip you over to my computer. And here we are, and talk about the ASG 103 BGs. Now, specifically the green ones. Uh, my orange ones and my red ones weren't actually on this list, so specifically I've sold more green than any other color by a landslide. Uh, but it is our three-piece uh, panel popper kit. And of course, you can read the little features about it. You can see all the individual numbers. Uh, the 186 BG is the most sold out of the set individually. That's the most common size. It's the larger fork in the in the smaller length. The middle child there, if you if you'd say. Um, but a lot of the guys have actually been trading their single one in for the three piece kit as well because obviously that long reach. Uh, panel popper especially for any dash work uh, we've had a lot of guys mention as well uh, hatches in the back of vehicles sometimes you don't want to reach your whole arm in there just to pop that panel loose so really handy dandy kit of course um, you can read the little uh, description there my favorite part about it is the little elbow so it actually forces against itself so you don't have to get like a piece of wood or anything else underneath it just to wedge that uh that uh, little tree clip or anything else out before uh before disaster happens and the clip breaks so really fantastic kit and of course another thing that was on sale for uh for a good part of the year and we're back to my lovely uh mug with uh with tools in front of it uh the 304 imx was the top four uh product of the year on my uh on my snap-on sales list Reason for it being, again, same reason for the uh, the impact uh, material, I'll say, reducers, impact rated extensions. Now, this does come with your uh, IP80D, if I remember the part number correctly. That is the pinned impact swivel, laser welded uh, pin in place, so you don't have to worry about anything popping out and coming uh, turning into a two-piece swivel, I should say, and then three extensions to go along with them. Now, I will cheat because they're odd sizes. It's a three-inch, 
uh, five and three thirty seconds and an 11 and a quarter inch extension the reason why we do odd sizes like that is if you need a little bit more length or a little bit less length and you do have other extensions in your box this might give you that little extra to reach that bolt or a little bit less to get that bolt out without jamming up your impact or uh, your ratchet if you are using these for impact as well to get that bolt out the first time. With semi-deep impacts, uh, of course, your deeps and your shallows that you should already have, this is a fantastic set to have with them. Like I said, they are impact rated. It's going to save your anvil from being anvil from being damaged. And of course, the price point, how can you go wrong? Now, obviously, on my truck, you're going to see a few things. Uh, I, I can't see if you can uh, can see that or not. We do have a few items on my truck that are, are labeled. These are deals that are just on my truck. I can't promise every other franchisee will have them. Um, but along with that, if you do ask, obviously, maybe they can make a deal with you as well. Now, going to the last but not least product. Come on, folks. Did you think we were going to get through a video without talking about flashlights in the most sold of the year context? If so, I apologize uh, to disappoint. We are talking flashlights and one of my favorites. I'll stop blinding you with my headlights now. Um, the most sold flashlight in at least southwest Nova Scotia, Canada, was these bad boys right here. The black neck lights, uh, specifically the black ones. I've sold a lot of green, a lot of orange, a lot of red as well. Um, but the neutral black ones, because like I always say about my dress pants, black matches everything you don't gotta worry about being uh of, of contrast to something different so big things about this light it'll go up to 300 lumens and down to 30 the way you do that i'm just going to click one on which is another feature you don't have to turn them both on at once you just click press and hold and you can dim them down to 10 percent of what they usually are brightness wise and then if you click and hold you'll see it'll click off and back on there we go that's on high 300 lumens down to 30 you got about two hours of of light on each one together so you can get about two hours out of them or if you turn one on and then when that one dies you turn the other one on four hours or 10 hours on low on each so about 20 hours worth of use if you are going camping you can have these on you easiest sales pitch i have for these things obviously they are hands-free. You don't got to worry about losing them because they're not going to be magnetized to the bottom of a vehicle unless you want them to be. Obviously, they are magnetic, um, but you don't have to take them off your neck if you do not want to. They do have a pretty strong magnet as well, so if they do leave on the vehicle, hopefully they do come back. I like to call them boomerang lights as well, so if you do throw them away, hopefully they, they return back to you. If it is true love, they definitely will. Um, but yeah, just a great light obviously they do articulate down they articulate up you don't have to worry about bending your your whole body up with a headlight you usually have to kind of adjust where you're looking at just see where you need these are kind of more of a floodlight you can do everything like that for you so fantastic lights fantastic pricing and if i didn't say the part number before they are an echdd 12 a the A is just basically the next iteration of these models. Some guys have the regular ones without the A. They're just an older style of these and so on and so forth. If there's a B by the time this video comes out, you'll be able to buy those too. So again, rounding out the top four of the top five um, tools of the year, the lovely neck lights. Now to number one. Isn't she a beauty? This is actually the number one sold item on the list from this year and the reason why i want to talk about alas is technically it's not a snap-on product but technically it is this is actually our blue point 87 piece hex torx driver kit uh, part number is blp thc 87 now this guy is our donor kit so it is missing a few pieces you'll notice uh the 316 is missing a few torx bits just because the customer lost some we wanted to replace them right away for him before the holidays and obviously, you know how it is. We're waiting for a replacement uh, probably closer to after the holidays. But without further ado, a few specifications on this kit. T6, if we roll all the way over, all the way up to T60. Now, that's in long and short. So you'll notice there's a few you know, just poking around everywhere. Uh, you also get uh, in metric 2.5 millimeter all the way through to 19 millimeter. And if I make you motion sick, I apologize, but one eighth for your little, um, your standard hex drivers all the way through to, there we are, 
uh, three quarter inch. And that's, again, I'm going to say this, I know I sound like a broken record, but in long and short drivers, it's a ridiculous kit and a ridiculous value. That's why usually when they come on sale, I, I try to snag as many as I can. And then, of course, give them to as many technicians as I can. Looks like this year, it did reign supreme. So, really great kit. If you are interested, obviously, hop on the truck, message me. Uh, they are lifetime warranty. Same as Snap on that way, just made to a different specification, obviously. Obviously, with it not being uh, manufactured in the same plant as where our snap-on driver bits are. So, a really fantastic kit and, of course, um, fantastic value. If you have any questions, let me know on this. And now, on to the future. And on to the future of snap-on. What's coming out in the new year, Snappy? I've had a few guys ask me. Well, these are the top three items that I think is going to be... Uh, they're going to be game changers for Snap-on. Now, the F100, along with the whole 100 series ratchets, are going to be coming out very soon, if not already on trucks. Uh, they are a 100-tooth gearing Snap-on ratchet with 10 teeth engaged at all times. That's over our 80-tooth gearing with uh, 8 teeth, or 7 teeth, if I remember correctly, engaged at all times. These have more surface area, which allow you to have more torque. And also, uh, again, contoured handle, chrome finish. Same as all of our old ratchets just in a thinner body so you can get into tighter spots and also more torque with them so really excited to get these on the truck obviously you can see the repair kits available there for them as well they are lifetime warranty same as all of our other ratchets I'm just made not to break as often so uh very excited to have these guys on the truck as well as their flex heads their long reach counterparts as well so keep an eye out for those Next on the list, now I don't actually have a picture for this guy. Um, you can look them up online. Uh, I will try to put a picture of it in right here. Let's see how good I am at editing yet. Uh, but that is going to be the new Torch 100. It's a mini butane gas torch. For the guys that don't need as much power out of the Torch 300 and 400, this is a great option for you too. So it's got the same body type as the 300 and the 400, but at a 125 watts instead of, I believe, the minimum like 400 watts out of the other guys. So uh, really great for that smaller soldering shrink tube um anything like that so pretty uh pretty cool stuff and of course um you do get gra the gas view window you know when it's getting low uh flame adjustment uh multi-directional stainless steel torch as well so the thing is is this thing is made to last and your igniter is made to last as well so handy dandy stuff there and this guy was released this year. It's kind of a cop-out, but I will say a lot of guys won't see these until the new year. And why talk about it on a computer when I have it right in front of me here? So this is the TPGDL 2000. Again, kind of a cop-out. I have it on the truck. This is going to be a big one for the new year. So I thought I'd start uh, talking about it now before, uh, obviously, the, uh, the, the new year's rush for... Um, for tire season starts so tpg dl 2000 it's comparable to the tpg dl 1000 c i believe was the last iteration of that guy but a lot of things have changed with this guy first of all it's us made so you're going to be able to get components on uh on demand a lot easier they are in our warehouses a lot quicker which means if it's just the head you need if it's just the uh the stainless steel braided hose you need anything like that shouldn't be that far away for you uh new to this guy instead of the whole hose swiveling and kinking up on you sometimes just the end swivel so you can latch that on there and then swivel this wherever you want to not worry about it kinking up you also get two different adapters your clip on end and your dual bud chuck end as well for dual dual tires anything like that they now take AAA batteries, so if there's ever been a sales pitch, you can't find those hockey puck batteries, the CR2032s or whichever ones that they are, don't worry about it anymore. You can just use AAA batteries. You can steal them out of your remote at home if you need to, uh, but really easy to find and, of course, easy to service on the snap-on truck. 
Uh, these guys do come with a lifetime warranty uh, under regular use. Obviously, if you use it as a wheel chalk, there may not be much we can do for you. But obviously, if we can get it warranty for you, we definitely will. You guys are all valued customers. And specifications, you say. Uh, I definitely didn't have to go review what I was just about to say. But I will tell you, it does go up by 0.1 PSI increments. Uh, if I turn this guy back on here. Uh, of course, if you are looking to change your units, you just have that left-hand button or the right-hand, depending on obviously which way of the camera you're looking at uh 0.1 increments is within one percent accurate so if you're at 100 psi it will not read uh anywhere below 99 or 101 psi under regular use if it is working outside of those specifications let your snap on guy know we can service it for you um obviously you can inflate deflate if you go halfway down or read by just letting go of your lever as well which is really handy you don't have to have two different tools to get the job done or three if you're talking about that pocket screwdriver to actually poke into the valve as well um overall just a fantastic tool if you guys have any questions about them i will be in the comments below to talk about these lovely 2024 products now my favorite time of the video me telling you and explaining why my truck is a mess <laughs> we're doing inventory this weekend um oh, i should say this week between christmas and new year's so uh it's a little bit of a mess we'll uh we'll straighten it up as i go uh but obviously just to give you a little virtual tour around the truck a really great deal on these ppc sg 710s punches chisels with the uh with the um the glass filled nylon handles. I've had a lot of good luck with these. Keep you from busting your knuckles. The air tools are actually looking a little sad. Uh, we are running low on air tools, which is a good thing. That means you guys are seeing some value in the deals on them. The cordless again, always looks ravaged, but uh, definitely a great time to invest. Some hose clip pliers, some hose, radiator hose picks, I should say as well. Some screwdriver sets. I will feature these in the video as well, actually. Let me steal one out and show you guys this real quick. Used cordless impact as well. Keep that in the back. This little guy. Now, a lot of guys will say, well, hey, Joseph, why would I buy an 87 piece if all I need is Torx? Well, the nice thing is about that kit is it is non-tamper proof. These guys here, and this is the favorite my favorite thing about this kit if i can get it to zoom in there they're all tamper proof so for the low torque applications or the tamper proof applications you have boom here's your kit i believe this is a 43 piece kit by the looks of the part number and the little pad beside me if i can read right that is correct uh blp tssc 43 uh, these guys have been a popular one for the guys who already have the 87 piece but are looking for something like i said with tamper proof in it definitely get it while you can i got two left on the truck along with some 51 piece blue point general service sets and a 62 piece quarter inch set as well so some pretty cool deals there like i said about those hose clamp pliers uh these guys came in late i'm gonna hide this I definitely don't have them on sale. Other franchisees, please don't get mad at me. We do have some air tools on deal as well. Like I said, some plier sets that are missing a few pieces. Again, most of this stuff we are going to be cleaning up for inventory. Uh, and then either shipping back to Snap-on or clearing it out to you guys on sale. So forgive the mess. Maybe I'll do a before and after... Uh, video uh next week after inventory is all done if my eyes come uncrossed from counting all the uh all the stock that we have to talk about so again if you see anything you got questions about let me know those lovely lights there believe it or not i don't know if we did a video of how many of these things we had but uh that's all we got left so if you want one let me know we'll uh just do this you don't see that <laughs> um air hammer bits we are running a little bit low on and of course tool storage we are uh clearing out of those as well so midnight blue our lovely original snap on red which 
I, I have to say, even on camera, it, it pops. It doesn't pop as much as it does in person. It is beautiful. Uh, other than that, we got some deals on crust, custom grill basket sets up front. We got some lovely, oh, lovely clocks as well. If you still read time the old analog way and not digitally, cuddle buddies. Some hats. Again, uh, forgive me, this is the second day before Christmas, Christmas Eve Eve. So we are uh, looking a little bit uh, barren, but uh, we have plenty more coming in for 2024. So, And without getting too sappy, that's everything for 2023. Uh, we'll try to get some more videos into 2024. Uh, I have hired an assistant. You may be seeing him in videos if he decides. Uh, we'll see. But the biggest thing is, thank you very much for supporting me this year. Uh, customers and viewers alike. And you guys all keep the wheels turning on the Snap-on truck. And trust me, uh, there's been a few days where well, just yelling into the camera has helped me out a lot. So, um, thanks again for keeping me around. I'll see you again in 2024. Have a great day.